Oh, look who we found here. The historic Masonic Theater's executive director, Justin Ryder, and Paula Krantz, who's the co-director of the STARS group. Uh, welcome. Welcome, people. Thanks, Terry. Thank Good to see you again. It's been, uh, well, I guess, a couple of weeks. Yes, and, and you know, we heard some really good news, and that's the STARS program will be featured at the Historic Masonic Theater. And Justin, this is a huge change. Not that the church setting wasn't good, but um, for these performers, being at the Masonic Theater must be in a huge treat. It is. I mean, we're kind of titling this, the stars are back at the Masonic. Um, and we, Paul and I both agree that the stars belongs here. It, you know, it was an offshoot outreach program from Apple folks of America in 1996, um, that came to the theater and did their first performances and they're in their 27th season. And it was only during COVID. And then a couple of years after COVID that they were, uh, at the church and, um, we couldn't be happier. And the kids are, well, you tell them. Well, they're already sending me the songs they want to sing for that show. <laughs> it started last week. <laughs> you know, Paula, you know, it's one thing, I mean, the average person out there in the public land, you know, getting up on stage in front of a huge crowd, that's not an easy thing to do. I mean, and it impressively you don't just have one or two or a dozen i think you have up to 30 performers don't you close wow we got 27 right now signed up for the august show justin this is a uh, you know as an aside uh it's it's nice to hear that this is all going to happen at the masonic theater but nothing's free i mean this took a, a collaboration of you and Paula and many others, but the government's had to uh, work with you to make this all happen. Yeah, that was, you know, one of the hurdles was that when we came out of COVID, we couldn't give the theater away for free. And we really, we set some rental rates for nonprofit entities and for for-profits and everybody was gonna pay that. And so I immediately started looking for money for stars and trying to find out exactly how much it would cost. I was still a newbie. And then when Paul and I talked early this year, I said, you know what? I got an idea. Let's <laughs> ask, the, let's ask our government leaders at the county, at the town and at the city of Covington, if they would split the cost three ways and put it in the budget. Wow. And what a success. And, and let me make sure I've got the details right. It's Sunday. August 25th, and it'll start, what, at 3 p.m.? Yes, sir, 3 p.m., and it is absolutely 100% free of charge, and any donations during that day will all go to the STARS program. This is a win-win situation, no doubt about it. What a, you know, what a huge, just, it's just going to be a wonderful event, and I predict you will have a huge audience as well. Well, we certainly hope so. And we are so appreciative of our government leadership in our area. They are all clicking on all cylinders right now. The three of them are working together. And for all of them to step up and do this is just remarkable. And we couldn't be more appreciative. No. And, and Justin, before, uh, and, and Paul, before we let you go, it isn't just this one performance, though, is it? There will be another one in the winter and next spring. They're going to be three performances every year. Um, oh, okay. so we have one on December 8th, and then we're still working on the date for the April um, performance. But yeah, you can count on them being here three times a year, and we're, we're tickled. We're excited to get going and, and have them here and have the people come and enjoy this amazing show. Well, thanks again for making this all happen. And we look forward to, you know, getting some video of this event as usual. But, you know, it, it took some work and cooperation here. And it's due to all of you to help bring this about. Thanks again for speaking with us. Thank you, Jerry. Appreciate Thank you, it. Jerry.